We just turn around and play me a little blues, sweet and soft and funky. Get it! Exactly brought you there? Well, it was a guy, it was a horn player. He was a, uh, everybody was playing a lot of jazz then. He had a lot of jazz players yet then. And Teresa had run them out of there because they wasn't drawing no people. And it, it took me there. She run me out the first night. 58 or 59, but he came up here and asked me for a job. I was waiting tables. Then one Friday, Saturday night. And I was standing up by the vendor. And Rufus and I had had a falling out because he wasn't playing the blues and I fired him. And uh, he come in, oh, Miss T, I got a good guitar player for you. Uh-huh, because she told me, you was in there last night playing that shit. I said, ma'am, I just got off the train. Don't tell me that shit. I know what I'm talking about. And she was mean, but she kept a blackjack and a pistol. So we went to the west side and played and I uh, called the squeeze, the bucket of blood, on 16 and Holman on the west side. And I must have played over there for about a month, and I wasn't satisfied. I said, that woman says she knew me. I want to prove to her she didn't know me. And about, oh, I guess about three or four weeks later, but he came in on a Friday or Saturday and asked me to let him play a tune. He said, if you don't like it, I'll leave. But it went back there and played that tune. But it stayed here for about 10 years. And I went in there, and I just told her, I said, I want you to hear me play, because you ran me out of here and told me you had heard me. And she had a hand on the gun and the blackjack. If you're going to play that same shit you played there before, and I, 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 I said, no, I ain't going to play that. I plugged the guitar and hit things I used to do. She put her hands on her hip. How come you didn't play like that when I was young? <laughs> and you know she died laughing about that. Yeah, because actually I started playing at a place. Her place was packed every weekend, and she gave me credit for it. She would never pay her a damn thing. So what was a favorite memory that you had at Teresa's Lounge? Is there one that sticks out to you the most? <laughs> Uh, yes, some things you don't want to hear me say. Uh, well, um, there was a great guitar player named Sammy Longhorn, played with Muddy Water a long time. Great guitar player. She moved me, man. I don't see how it's done.